if rates go up and we have a recession, there will be real estate problems. And some banks will have a much bigger real estate problem than others. What if we told you that the very foundation of the real estate market is collapsing? The stability you once knew is now hanging by a thread. Well, that's exactly what Jamie Dimon, the finance genius, is hinting at. At the center of the worldwide financial maze, one category stands tall. However, not without risk. The real estate property. Visualize this. Skyscrapers, busy offices, and bustling shopping department shops. It forms the spine of the urban panorama, maintaining financial activity and shaping the metropolis's skyline. At the heart of this confusion is a surprising quantity. Nearly 1,000 million greenbacks of industrial multifamily mortgages due to mature in the next 12 months. That's a sobering statistic, enough to make even the most pro-investor pause in realization. But why is this loan so safe? Why must we listen? For starters, let's talk about danger assessment. You see, a huge portion of this debt is held by means of community banks, the unsung heroes of nearby finance. These banks, regularly singled out for their exceptional contrasting numbers, are communities, the lives of citizens, fueling small businesses and home ownership goals. However, at this half the value in their books, they walk a tight rope, balancing the need for improvement with the threat of to pay their money owed. And speaking of defaults, they've got an upward push now. It's like a canary in a coal mine. A warning sign that something isn't quite proper. Sure, defaults are the easy part of the lending industry. But once they begin creeping up on the market's good pockets, it's time to sit up and take notice. It's like a ripple on a peaceful lake. Innocent at first, However, it can imply a storm is brewing underneath the floor. However, perhaps the most crucial red flag is the falling obligation. As charges push upward, retail costs push upward as well, leaving traders eager to redeem their investments. So, what does this all mean for the average man? This method is used in the once robust world of industrial actual estate to deal with the unparalleled demanding situations. It suggests that the dream of proudly owning a slice of American dream may work in a protracted manner. And this means we all need to pay attention, because what takes place within the world of commercial real estate doesn't just take a seat there. It resonates all through the economic system, affecting lives and livelihoods in approaches we were unable to even consider. To really understand how retail is doing now, we have to go back to picture this, the 1980s when there was a surplus and surplus, but also when interest rates were rising. It was a time of double-digit inflation and borrowing costs, which sent shocks to the economy. But then, a ray of relief came like a beacon of hope. The Federal Reserve intervened by lowering interest rates to encourage economic growth. Thus, began a 30-year decline in prices, giving way to a spectacular real estate boom. Each time inflation fell, property prices rose to new heights, fueled by the cheap foreclosure economy. It was a golden age for real estate investors, when even the most modest of profits was like a ticket to wealth and prosperity. But as they say, all good things must come to an end. And after the Great Recession, when minimum interest rates began to fall, wary of inflationary pressures, the Federal Reserve began monetary tightening, which gradually raised inflation to normal levels. So as we go through the waters of retail, we no longer forget about the instructions of the future. Let's draw inspiration from the resilience of those who have come before us and chart a manner ahead with ideas, know-how, and a sturdy perception within the sustainable electricity of real estate shaping our international courses. As interest rates increase, casting a shadow over the country's economic system, the consequences may be far beyond the real estate sector. It is sort of a ripple impact, flowing via the financial system and impartial without. Consider the dire situation of the average consumer. Rising costs make the whole thing from mortgages to vehicle loans more expensive. It's like a sport of musical chairs. Besides, this time there are fewer chairs. 
and the music is playing quicker than ever. But it's now not simply clients who are feeling the pinch. Organizations are also grappling with the results. Imagine you are a small business proprietor dreaming of expanding your business. With hobby charges growing, that dream all of a sudden appears out of attainment. It's like looking to swim in opposition to the tide. Exhausting, needless, and in the end, irritating. And then there are the broader economic influences to remember. As borrowing charges rise, funding slows, and consumption falls. It's a vicious cycle, one that can quickly spiral out of control if left unchecked. Just observe records of evidence. The Great Recession, the dot-com bubble, and the banking and credit card score crisis were all precipitated by rising interest rates and the destruction of their economies. But in the midst of destruction and gloom, there is also a glimmer of hope. For every venture, there is an opportunity, a chance to innovate, adapt, and thrive in the face of adversity. It's like a phoenix rising from the ashes, an image of resilience and renewal. Assuming he has a reliable compass and experience in change, navigating tight economic terrain faces challenges at every turn. It's like a game of chess where flow requires careful consideration and strategy. But as you overcome each obstacle, you become stronger and more adept at the treacherous waters you've been in before. But he warned, risks are hiding somewhere because of this fact. It looks like a thriller, but with plot twists and puzzles that'll keep you on the edge of your seat. Just when you think you've reached the tipping point, there seems to be another threat that threatens to derail your progress. But keep in mind, adversity is only a veiled opportunity, a threat to test your mettle and emerge more powerful than ever. As you move forward, you meet fellow travelers, partners with common goals. Together, you form alliances, pool your resources, and share your wisdom to conquer the challenges ahead. It's like an adventurous group bound by a shared sense of purpose and an unwavering determination to succeed against all odds. But there are also rivals hiding in the shadows of friendship. It's like a high-stakes poker game, with opponents competing for dominance and trying to outdo each other at every turn. But don't worry, dear traveler. Just lace up your boots, raise your flag, and go on a journey that will bring you for the rest of their lives. Because in the end, it's not the destination that matters, but the journey itself. In the midst of uncertainty, innovation becomes a light of desire. It's like a spark that has lit the fire of progress, worked back through difficult circumstances, and paved the way to a brighter destiny. Imagine a world where crisis is the norm and creativity is ideal. It's like entering a science fiction novel where the boundaries of the possible are constantly pushed and redefined. From AI to blockchain technology, the possibilities are limitless and the potential to change the way we live and work is amazing. But in the chaos, there is a bright light, a bright suggestion that already lights the way. It's like stumbling upon a hidden reservoir of ideas, ready to be unearthed and released into the world. Let us embrace innovation with open arms, as it's our greatest ally in the quest for progress. Together, we use creative energy to navigate the uncertain territory ahead and emerge victorious on the other side. So that's it for today's video. For more insights and tips, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Until next time.